gentlemen, I am Mac10, and welcome to First Look in 5. This is the first episode, and today's game is going to be Tribes Ascend. Now, Tribes Ascend is a free-to-play first-person shooter that recently got out of beta. It is... it's pretty awesome, but enough talking, let's get into a game. So, there are a bunch of different game modes. Uh, the most commonly played is the Team Deathmatch mode. Now, the Team Deathmatch is also a Capture the Flag mode. You try to capture the flag while doing a Team Deathmatch, and the team that is currently holding the flag gets double points for their kills, and the first team to reach 100 points is the victor. So you have a bunch of different classes, almost like a battlefield-ish game. You've got the Pathfinder, which is sort of a really fast-moving class. You've got the Sentinel, which is a sniper-like class. You have the Soldier, which is your standard machine gun toting, you know, it's a soldier. You've got your uh, Infiltrator, which I have not unlocked, but the Infiltrator is a really fast raiding class. And uh, then you've got the the Raider, which is a even faster raiding class. You have the Technician, which makes turrets and does mechanical sort of jargon, and the Juggernaut, which is a long-range fighter. You have the Doombringer, which is a chain-gun-wielding Juggernaut, basically. And then the Brute is a very close combat fighter that has heavy weaponry and a load of hit points. Now I'm going to start with the Pathfinder, which is my personal favorite. So, the game is free to play, and it is, the, it is the successor to the Tribe series, and it's actually extremely saddening to me that the game doesn't have more players than it does. You see, I looked around on Twitch TV, and on Owned.tv, and there's virtually no one streaming it. I mean, there's only a, probably a couple hundred people even viewing the streams, and only about four streams. I mean, even... Any game, even if there aren't a lot of viewers, usually has a lot of streams. So it's pretty surprising to me. I'm not like sure why. Th I'm not exactly sure why this is, but um, the gameplay is extremely fast-paced. It's a load of fun. It's hard for me to talk and keep focused on what I'm doing and what I'm shooting at. I'm not very good at first-person shooters, but the game is an absolute blast. We are about to lose this game too, as you can see the scoreboard at the top of the screen. The red is them, and the oh, I got a kill, and the teal is my team. So. <clears throat> that is one game down, and you also notice I joined in the middle of the game. It's not like StarCraft 2 or a Dota or MOBA type game you can start in the middle of games all the time because I get points even if I join the game late. And these points go into my EXP, which I can then use to buy new classes and upgrades. So, for example, I haven't unlocked the Infiltrator, the Raider, the Technician, or the Doombringer yet, but once I have enough points, I can buy the class. Alternatively, if I feel like spending a little bit of money for 10 bucks, I can get a load of this GP, which is this currency right here. And for about $10, I can unlock every single class. Now, you also can use experience and the GP to unlock multiple different parts for each class. See, you could, there's different guns, there are different upgrades for different guns, like nothing that's ba game breaking or bal imbalanced, but you can buy a little bit of an edge, like a larger clip for your gun, things like that. Alright, now on this map I'm going to try the Sentinel, which is a much harder to play class in my opinion. See, it is a sniper, and, oh, uh, oh, 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 it's a juggernaut, so he's got a lot of hit points. See, it's hard, it's hard to land a sniper round off on someone from a long distance away. And an even harder thing about it is that it doesn't do that much damage. The longer you stay zoomed in, the more damage it does. But even when it's fully zoomed in, someone that's got a lot of hit points, like a Juggernaut class, you won't be able to kill in a single shot. So the sniper class is pretty difficult to use in a situation like this. Alternatively, the sniper has a pistol, as you can see here, which... It does a lot of damage, but it's extremely hard to make a hit with it. And I'm going to change my class to the Soldier. Now, the Soldier's a pretty easy-to-play class. It's not my favorite. The Pathfinder is still my favorite. But the Soldier has a badass machine gun that does a lot of damage. You can see the little dot in the middle of my screen, which is the closest thing to a crosshair I have. But either way, it's pretty easy to land hits with the Soldier, but he doesn't do a lot of damage kind of appropriate. You also, soldier, the Soldier also has pretty good grenades. The other classes have kind of subpar grenades. Someone is shooting me with a shotgun, and there he is. Oh, and I, I ran right onto his grenade. 
So, Soldier's pretty fun. Let's change class to the Juggernaut. Next time I die, I will spawn as a Juggernaut, I believe, is how this works. I mean, that's how it works in most first-person shooters. Overall, the game sort of reminds me of a cross between uh, Battlefield and Halo and Guns, if you ever played Guns. And uh, Brute hit me with a melee. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Alright, now I am a Brute. I have this sort of really heavy long-range mortar weapon, which is it's pretty good if you can land it. It's really good in choke points. <clears throat> I also have a heavy version of the Spin Fuser, which is the weapon that the Pathfinder has, except this version does a load more damage. So, that sort of tribes Ascend in a nutshell. Uh, it's a game that I would recommend to everyone and their grandmother. Uh, it's, again, a first-person shooter, so if you're not into that, it might not be for you. But overall, I mean, the game is phenomenal. It's free to play. It's fantastic. You can get it on Steam, or you can Google Tribes of Sin and download it directly from their website. So, I am Mac10. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.